say that. No, 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 he said atmosphere. That's correct, George. He said atmosphere and the Earth. Three, all of them here, three, I'm, three I'm separate back, things back you just to being said confused. there, and all of them are bullshit. I'm, I'm back to being confused. If it's leaving okay. the gun and in the same reference frame, there is no deflection, George. If I am sorry, say what again? If it leaves the gun and is in the same reference frame with the of atmosphere, what? Of I what? Finished. I haven't finished, George. If you could okay. let me finish a single sentence, you might find out. According sorry, to yes. you, they are the same reference frame: the atmosphere and the Earth. If that no, I did not say that. No. no. No, he said atmosphere. That's correct, George. He said atmosphere and the Earth. Oh, you misheard him. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm, 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 I'm he watching. Was correct. He was correct. Okay. Moron. Yes, the atmosphere and the Earth are the same reference frame. The bullet trajectory, the bullet projectile is in a reference frame separate from the Earth and the atmosphere. Correct. Well, that's two different things. You can't have it be in the same reference frame and in a different reference frame. That's doublespeak. I just want to interject here real quickly, and this would be my own co only comment. Um, you can't have two reference frames, and you, you just can't have one reference frame. You can't have both at the same time. Do you understand that in order for the Coriolis effect to work, it needs two reference frames? So by explaining that the Earth and the atmosphere go as one, and then turn around and saying that the bullet leaving the muzzle of the gun is now in a second reference frame. When you just stated that the atmosphere is part of the first reference frame, only the reference frame of the earth. Everything's spinning as one. Do you understand that when the bullet is in the atmosphere, that that is the second reference frame? You can't have it both ways. I'm sorry. Shut your mouth, Rumpus. Rumpus, one more time. I'm talking to George. Nathan, yeah, maybe you should say it slow. You're doing a straw man. I don't so, think he's getting I'll it. say it nice and slow for George. Yes, I think you're right. I'll try it one more time, nice and slow. In okay. order to have in, or, in order to have the Coriolis effect, we must have two separate reference frames so that we can see the bullet deflect. If there is not two separate reference frame, there is no deflection to see. So, when the bullet leaves the gun, it must be in a separate reference frame in order to see any deflection. Correct. So, so we have a separate reference frame, the atmosphere. No, it's the same as the Earth. So, then we don't see a deflection because it's not leaving the reference frame. The bullet leaves the Earth atmosphere reference frame to have its own reference frame. Therefore, you've got two reference frames. Sorry, the it leaves the Earth atmosphere reference frame. The Earth and the atmosphere are the same reference frame, except when why you... Am I, why am I now having this conversation with Rumpus? Oh. I was talking to George. Okay, I think a critical point that you're missing here, Nathan, is the bullet is inside the gun. We're talking before it gets shot and leaves the muzzle of the gun. The earth, the atmosphere, the gun are in the same rotating reference frame. And the bullets start off with. No, no, okay. rumpus, please. So let me just get some clarity, George. So everything, the gun, the atmosphere. Holy shit, this thing's red. Nice and roomy, but they don't fall off. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys, are you... Fear, everything is all in one reference frame. Pull it as well. Rumpus, right, it's time to kick the rumpus out. He just can't contain himself. Bye-bye, rumpus. Yeah, another time you can't keep your mouth shut. Bye, rumpus. So, it's all one reference frame, right, George? According to you. Before the bullet exits the muscle, it's all in one reference frame. Well, it's attached to the Earth, so it's attached to the Earth's spinning reference frame. Yes, and it is... Don't kick me. Okay, just for simplification, let's say we're at the equator, okay? Now, we all agree that in the spherical Earth model, the Earth spins at the equator with a tangential velocity of about 1,035 miles per hour. No, we don't all agree on that. Absolutely not. Why would you assert such utter crap? 
Well, I'm trying to explain the Coriolis effect to you. And I don't need Coriolis spinning effect. earth to understand oh, Coriolis. I can have it explained with a roundabout. You sit on a roundabout, it spins. You throw the ball, and because it's no longer attached to the spinning roundabout, from your position on the roundabout, it looks like it deflects. Although it Correct. continues in a straight line in its separate reference frame, the atmosphere. Correct. Now, you're saying that the atmosphere is attached to the roundabout. The roundabout being the Earth, yes. So if it's attached, when you let go of the ball, it's in the same reference frame, George. No, it's acting independently. Yeah, because if it's in the same no, reference frame, no, you you're don't assuming, get... You're assuming that the atmosphere is carrying the projectile, which it doesn't. Oh, sorry. It's so in free flight. It's in what we call free flight. It's yeah, through the, independent through free of the, flight, air and the atmosphere. Free flight through the separate reference frame, which is why we see the deflection. Correct? Yes. So we have a separate reference frame, George. Yes, the Earth and the atmosphere. Excellent. So the Earth and the atmosphere the are two separate reference frames, George. That's what I just said. No, you continually asserted that they were attached, <laughs> that they were one. Are you that stupid and senile that you can't remember what you said two minutes ago? No, I haven't been inconsistent. You one more quick comment. As the narrative changes, they will change their comment. It is in the reference frame of the Earth. It isn't in the reference frame of the Earth. There is a second reference frame. There isn't a second reference frame. Which is it? Make your mind up. You said they were attached. Now, after oh, dragging it out of you, you're now conceding that they are separate, George. So, do what, we have a firm no, concession? Let's back. What is attached? Do we have a firm concession that in order for the Coriolis effect to exist, the bullet must travel into a separate reference frame? <sighs> Take your time, George. The atmosphere and the earth are attached is a same rotating reference frame then we don't have any coriolis effect george if the ball is being thrown on a roundabout but the atmosphere is traveling with the roundabout it doesn't go into a separate reference frame therefore you see no deflection george that's the antithesis of the coriolis no, effect no, you're, no you're, you're you're confusing the no i'm not confused the Coriolis effect is very simple to understand. In order for it to be there, you need two separate reference frames. It's very I clear. Said you have two refer separate reference frames. You've got the roundabout with your atmosphere as one reference frame. It's no, the atmosphere doesn't carry along with the roundabout. What kind of a dingbat are you? How many roundabouts have you seen with force fields carrying their atmosphere in a circle? Well, of course a roundabout can't do that. Right! You absolute buffoon of an idiot. So we don't have two, then, George. We have one, because every roundabout has a force field around it with its own atmosphere that's the same reference frame as the spinning roundabout, you dingbat. Is that right? No, no, you're the one that's conf uh, yeah. obfuscating this thing. Forget about the roundabout. Right. We're talking about the Coriolis effect on the Earth. No, the Coriolis, Coriolis effect is the Coriolis effect. doesn't matter what it's on. In order to have a Coriolis effect, George, why am I having to school you, old git? Why don't you know what the Coriolis effect is? Two separate reference frames are needed. Coriolis. What is are you Take a step back. It Take a, a step back. It is a ball. What are you talking about? Ball. Are you talking about like a, a merry-go-round or what you're calling a roundabout on a playground, or are we talking about the Earth? I'm talking about the Coriolis effect. Yes. Yes, but, and in order to have a Coriolis effect, George, in order for it to exist, you have to have two separate reference frames. What are you talking about here? Are we going to talk about a roundabout or are we again, going to George, talk about the Earth? George, the Coriolis effect is an effect that is regardless of Earth. It exists. It's real. You don't need an Earth yeah. to explain the Coriolis effect. Yeah, if you have two separate, Shh. you have a rotating and a non-rotating reference frame. Yeah, you, you Shut have a up. Coriolis effect. Shut up, George. I haven't finished speaking. You're very rude. In order to have... <laughs> you're doing it again. In order to have a Coriolis effect, you must have two reference frames. If you don't, then you don't have a Coriolis effect. Okay. I agree with that. So, in order for the bullet to be subject to a Coriolis effect, you must have the Earth as one reference frame, 
and the atmosphere as the other George? No, no, no. Well, then you don't have a Coriolis effect. If you don't have separate reference frames, that's what the Coriolis effect is, George. Why is this taking so long to drum into you that that is the Coriolis effect? The effect of deflection caused by no, two see, separate you're, reference you're, frames. No, you're, you're mixing up the fact that the bullet, when it leaves a gun, the muzzle of a gun, that it's somehow attached to the ref, uh, to a reference frame to the atmosphere. And that is false. That is totally incorrect. The bullet, the projectile, acts independent of the atmosphere. It's in its own reference frame that has nothing to do with the atmosphere. Really? So it doesn't travel through the atmosphere at all? Yes, it does. So it has everything to do with the atmosphere then, George? No, no. Okay, take a roundabout. Take a child's uh, merry-go-round. Uh, you take a ball, you're at the center of the merry-go-round. It's spinning. You take a ball, you roll it outward. Holy sh**. These are amazing. Yeah, oh, it's so lightweight. I'm upset. Oh, my God. To a person standing on the merry-go-round, on the surface of the merry-go-round, it looks like it curves, but with respect no, to the ball. wrong. If you roll a ball on a roundabout whilst looking at it, and it is still in contact with the roundabout, it travels in a straight line from your position and in actuality. If you roll it on the roundabout, then you will not see any Coriolis effect because you are doing it in a single reference frame, you idiot. No, no, I'm not doing it in a single. There's two reference frames. Yeah, the reference frame is the roundabout and the atmosphere is a separate reference frame. If you roll the ball on the roundabout, it remains in the same reference frame. No, the in the case of a roundabout, you don't even have to worry about the atmosphere. The atmosphere is independent. It's, it's a third entity that you don't even worry about. You, you throw a ball on a roundabout, it goes out on a straight line, from the center of the roundabout out, it's in its reference frame, and the roundabout is its own reference frame. The atmosphere has nothing to do with it. Sorry, it went into the atmosphere, George. Yeah, so what? Well, that was the separate reference frame. It's a third reference frame. Sorry, what's the second reference frame, then? First reference frame is the... No, the second. Try to open your ears. Are you deaf? Is, is your age causing you to lose hearing? Not the first. The first would be the roundabout. I would okay, assert, the se the I would assert the shut your mouth, I would assert that the second is the atmosphere. You're saying double speak. The third is the atmosphere. So tell me what the second is. The ball. The ball's not a reference frame. Yes, it is. It has the a reference frame. The ball is a frame. ball. It's, ball it's the thing that's going to be deflected when traveling in the second reference frame. It's the thing you're observing being deflected as a result of its traveling through the second reference frame. It's not a reference frame in and of itself, you idiot. Yes, it is. No, you're the idiot. Sorry. God, you're... Are you serious? You're telling me a ball yeah, is, a, is a reference frame? Yeah, I'm frame. very serious. No, you don't understand the Coriolis effect. You're an idiot. No, <laughs> hardly. And yes, you are. And you're an idiot. Moron. Get him out of here. Oh, right John, here. you're, you're, you're an ah, idiot. Ah, you're a lightweight. Ah, My ah. God. I got a video of George giving his dog the chili willy. Oh, get lost, P. Mars. You're, you're a disgusting human being. If even that. Really? Says the man who tried to ruin another man's career by contacting the people who gave him his license and questioning his integrity. Is that right, George? He's a disgusting human being, is he? even though you put somebody's career at risk by contacting their licence supplier. Yeah, you are total garbage, George. You are a disgusting human being, and you have lied through your back teeth about things no, that I happened have in the aftermath. Hey, you know what the elephant in the room here is? You being a lying sack of shit? Yeah, it's not really an elephant. Everybody knows that you're a lying sack of shit, George. We all look at you with disdain.